The compound microscope remains one of the most essential tools for the life scientist or health professional. In its simplest form, the microscope has two converging lenses, the objective and the eyepiece, separated by the length of the barrel, L. The small object under scrutiny is placed just beyond the focal point of the objective lens. We label the image distance P and the focal length F. The focal length of the objective in a microscope is normally quite short, less than one centimeter. A ray trace is a helpful drawing for locating the image. The first ray drawn here emerges from the object parallel to the principal axis, that is, the horizontal line through the center of the lens. Upon passing through the lens, this ray is deflected through the focal point on the opposite side of the lens from where the light ray originated. A second ray may be drawn through the middle of the lens and passes undeflected. For good measure, we may construct a third ray passing through the focal point and then deflected parallel to the principal axis after passing through the lens. The image formed by the objective lens is located where these three rays converge, producing a real inverted image for the first stage of the microscope. The image distance may be calculated from the thin lens formula, 1 over Q equals 1 over F minus 1 over P. The magnification of this first stage of the microscope is the negative ratio of the image distance divided by the object distance. Note that the closer the objective is brought to the object, the larger and more distance the image that is formed. There are two approximations frequently used for microscopes. One is that the object distance is equal to the focal length of the objective, i.e. P approximately equal to F. This is not precisely true as the object is located just beyond the focal length of the objective. Also, it is frequently assumed that the image distance is equal to the length L of the microscope barrel, which is also not exact. These two assumptions lead to an approximate magnification of the first stage given by the negative ratio of barrel length divided by the objective focal length, M equals minus L over F. The negative accounts for the inversion of the image at this stage. In the second stage of a microscope, an eyepiece lens with a focal length longer than the focal length of the objective lens, perhaps a few centimeters, is used as a simple magnifier to observe the image formed by the objective and to further magnify. The image from the first stage becomes the object for the second stage. Given that L is the separation distance between the two lenses, the new object distance P prime is given by L minus Q. Again, we begin the ray trace analysis with a ray parallel to the principal axis that is deflected by the converging eyepiece through the focal point. A ray passing through the middle of the lens is undeflected. An eye peering into the eyepiece will perceive the two rays as having originated from a source well behind the eyepiece and without additional inversion. Still, it was inverted once already in the first stage. Thus, the final image is virtual, enlarged, and inverted. The final image position relative to the eyepiece lens is defined as Q prime and is calculated by application of the thin lens formula to the second stage of the microscope. 1 over Q prime equals 1 over Fe minus 1 over P prime. The second stage magnification may be determined from the ratio of minus Q prime over P prime. Since Q prime is negative, i.e. the final image forms to the left of the eyepiece lens, the magnification of the second stage has an overall positive sign and the image maintains the inversion from the first stage. Microscopic images are generally seen inverted. Another way to estimate the magnification of the second stage is with the simple magnifier angular magnification of 25 centimeters divided by Fe for a relaxed eye where 25 centimeters is, th is the assumed normal near point of an eye. The overall magnification of the compound microscope will be the product of the magnifications of each stage. The more precise magnification will depend on Q, P, Q prime, and P prime as determined by applying the simple lens formula twice through the two stages. The approximate and well-known expression for magnification will depend on the two focal lengths, F objective and Fe, as well as the barrel length L and the assumed near point of 25 centimeters. 
To build your microscope, place the printed object arrow on the tabletop and place a 6 cm focal length objective lens in a lens holder at a height above this object, a little beyond the 6 cm objective focal length. Place an eyepiece lens with a 13 cm focal length in alignment with the object and objective lens and adjust the vertical location of the eyepiece to yield a clear, magnified image as viewed from above. You will want to record the height of both lenses above the tabletop. The object distance P is simply the height of the objective lens. The length of the microscope barrel, air quotes inserted since there is no actual barrel tube, will be the spacing between the two lenses. Here is how the construction might proceed. At the top, place a smartphone camera or webcam on a holder to snap photos. Focusing the phone with a finger touch on the magnified object, take a digital photo. Remove the lenses without altering the height of the camera. Refocus and take a second photo. Email the two image files to yourself for analysis and inclusion in your e-journal report. Here's how the two images might appear. An enlarged inverted arrow image viewed through the microscope and a small unmagnified arrow representing the object as viewed with the naked eye. Once you have the two digital images, read them into the Microsoft Paint program and draw a line along the length of the arrow. The X and Y components of the line in pixel units may be found in the paint window along the bottom. The length of the imaged arrow in pixel units can be deduced from the Pythagorean theorem, taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. The ratio of the two arrow lengths will be the overall magnification resulting from both stages of the microscope. You should compare the magnification of your microscope to the prediction from the application of the simple lens formula twice, as well as with the familiar approximation involving F objective, F eyepiece, length, and the 25 centimeter near point frequently quoted in textbooks. Are the two calculations comparable? Ask yourself what could have been done differently to increase the magnification of your microscope. Also ask yourself how a compound microscope is focused.